Welcome back everybody to Farming Similar 19 here on Gold Crest Valley 19 today folks. <sighs> That's heartache. I have to get rid of the sawmill. Get rid of that loan. I'm going to be in trouble. Um, yeah, I should have never started it. I knew it wouldn't be like my uncle and stuff. It just... I thought I'd be a little bit better at it. I just went too big too fast. So what I'm going to do is what I'm doing now is just grinding up these stumps here. Put a low range area about two mile an hour. That's pretty good. Don't have to stop. It just goes right over them. But we got two way stations left. Uh, one of them we're going to keep for our silos grain silos if we ever get it for the farm which we are going to get it, it just, it's going to take time but uh what I got to do is uh, I think I'm going to keep that right there and sell that over there and of course um, I'm basically taking what wood out of these uh, log holders and um, just going to sell them to this sawmill here. That'll bring us a little bit of money, and that's going to go towards the uh, towards the loan, which we don't have no loan for the farm. I'll show you all right here. Probably going to auto save. Yep. All right. If you look right here, we don't have no loan, and you're probably like, "Well, that money dropped from last episode, Mr. Blue. What's going on?" Well, I did have a couple of fertilizer missions. I finished them, but I forgot to record it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, this is what we're looking like on our fields. Oh, it's a mess. It's a mess. Uh, our sugar beet machine is full. Our truck's full. I think everybody went to lunch. But I'm up here um, stacking up these posters. Get up here. And, uh, yeah, I want to cut up the rest of these, grind them up. I don't have too many. Well, I got one, two, three sets there, and plus these here. So it shouldn't take too long, but I, let's show you one. Oh, wrong can. I need this can. Oh, I mean a chainsaw. Yeah, chainsaw. I've just been doing this. Oh, there we go. And if you come over and saw the other one, Make sure you got your ear protections in now. And you'll see them fall. Well, sometimes they fall all the way. We'll just throw, whoop, I didn't want to throw it that far. But these are light enough to pick up. I've just been uh, doing this, putting them on the truck. And then we're going to take them over and throw them off on the, the sawmill belt. I'm not going to let y'all see all this because that'd be torture on y'all. That's just what, what I've been doing right there. I just come over here, pick them up, put them on the truck. But I should start down here since the truck's down here. And uh, I wouldn't have to walk so far. That time is money. So, folks, let me get some of this done and I will be back to show you what's left, okay? Be right back. All right, we're down to the last couple patches here. And, uh, yeah, we got them over to unload. Just got off phone with a guy that wants to buy the cotton picker. He wants to buy the module builder, too. And he wants to buy the 4640. I'm like, uh, okay. So we post meet here soon gotta go well he's gonna get coffee I'm gonna get tea uh, yeah so I, I gotta hurry and get this uh, unloaded here hopefully it, I know it won't bring that much but you, you, you know maybe it will so uh, yeah hopefully in this episode we can get uh, some uh, stuff planted. Uh, I, I think I'm just going to go ahead and go with uh, wheat. Why can I? Oh, okay. Here we go. 
and blow up. I just want to try to flow them as fast as I can. And it looks like it's going to work that way, does it? Oh, I thought. Yeah, I want them to go like that. Fly, fly, logs, fly. Oh, don't fall down. Oh. oh, I think this is going to do a pretty good job. I wish I had a loader up here. But it's not worth bringing a little one up here. Just to unload these few, I, I, I need a workout anyway, so. If I can just get down on the trailer. Guess it's just not going to work that way. Oh well. I'm going to pick them up. Thought maybe if I could get that hole filled in right there I can just start shuffling them over but come on come on kick them over I guess not I'm making a bigger mess than I anticipated whoa thousand dollars for that one yeah it might be worth worth getting all this up. Alright. Ah, maybe I can just grab a log and throw or get two or three. That'd be nice. Yeah. yeah. A couple of thousand dollar logs in there. But well, folks, I'm going to go ahead and get this done and we're going to meet that guy here soon. Uh, I'll bring you back in just a second when I get all of them thrown on there, okay? All right. All right. Uh, that's all of them, folks. I don't know what our total was, but... i kick him on up in there a little bit further. All right, I got to... Put both stump grinders on because we got to clear all our equipment that we're going to keep off of here as soon as possible. So uh, they're going to come tear down the forestry and or, or the sawmill and uh, take it somewhere. So I have no idea where they're going to take it. But uh, they will give us, you know some on it don't know what but it all will go towards the loan so we really won't get none of it but it helped pay the loan off and I got that trailer to get out of here too because it's got a bucket and a gravel on it but this is what I'm taking in this load and uh, like I said er, wow don't crash it I should hold it on right there anyway. Did I? Oh, I'm probably been a rotor blade or something on that. Oh, man. I can't wait to lose it. All right. Fold the ramps up. Strap this baby down. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see a little bit of it left. We'll have to come up here and... Uh, I don't know if we're going to bulldoze this up or not. I doubt it. We'll have to lease one if we do. Alright, folks. I will see y'all here in a second at the coffee shop. Oh, my goodness. Oh, folks. That's the best donuts and tea. And his coffee smelled good. But anyway, he bought the cotton picker, the module builder, and the 4640. And I'm going to insert that. Well, but not. I'm going to insert that right now. All right, folks. That's what I got for all that. And you're probably wondering, money's a little low. What did I buy? Well, it's, it's that thing over there, folks. The orange 
to match this orange. Well, I don't know. That looks like a newer orange. It's a fuel tank. We have to buy some fuel. Because the trailer I tried to use wouldn't work. Uh, so, yeah. We're going to go fill it with fuel. I don't know what that thing is sitting on the other side. So that's good right what it is, John Deere. But I don't know. That might be better than what we got. But I didn't like that, folks. That's somebody else buying that. They almost match. Close enough. But anyway, this is, uh, we got it for fuel. So I figured I'd do the orange coat. That way we'll, we buy one in the future. We won't get them mixed up. Now I'm going to go find the fuel station and uh, fill it up. And STOP. Squirrel tires on pavement. No, no. Can't do it, folks. You got to be good. You got to teach your kids right, right? Well, anyway, I'll be right back in a second. Got five. Oh, I did squirrel tires that time. Two wheels. Be right back. All right, folks. I'm filling this thing up. <laughs> they like, uh, you, you coming to give us diesel or truck done ran? We with from like uh, 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 Mr. Blue, Mr. Blue Farms. Don't have a decal inside my truck yet, but uh, yeah, folks, I'm coming to get your diesel. Yeah, it's gonna take a minute to fill up. Oh, I don't know how to donut and tea, I don't need nothing else. Oh, my belly hurt. We're gonna walk over here. I've been kind of interested in this area over here. A little bit bigger fields. Gotta try to find out who owns them. Uh, Rebecca O'Connor? Hmm. Okay. I have to get her a shout and see how much if she wants a seller or a guy in field to sell. But anyway, folks, uh, we are going to buy a. I don't know if we're going to buy a cedar or not. But anyway, let me get this. Uh, probably going to get about 4,000 gallons, maybe. Oh, uh, well, I have. We ain't 500 yet. Oh. All right, let me get this filled up, and we'll be right back. While I'm gone, I'm going to look at some planters. All right, seven thousand one hundred three dollars for fifteen hundred and two gallons. One thousand five hundred two gallons. Wow. Yeah. All right, now I gotta get out of here. Listen. All right. Uh, I looked at some planters. I found a uh, case planter. Uh, more of a drill type so we're gonna go pick that up once we get back to the shop we're gonna put some fuel into a fuel tank put it back this up in the shop or something I don't, I don't know about that but um, I want to look at my tablet real quick Ain't nobody behind me so look at our price of cotton folks it's going up almost 5,000 so as soon as that stops going up we're gonna lease the truck so yeah, that's why I stopped on the fuel so to make sure we had enough for the truck. So yeah, let me get this to the shop and I'll be right back. Alright, rolling up in here. That tractor there needs fuel bad. Alright, let's see. Start filling right there. Let me pull up just a little bit more so it look more realistic. Oh, there's our trigger. Um, yeah, a little laggy around here. Is there a fuel tank that we got and never could put diesel in? I wish it would, uh, I wonder if that's that. What is that? 10,000 liters look like? I wish it'd tell how much it was in it. Anyway, uh, yeah. 
we got a bunch of stuff to show y'all. I'll tell you what. It took that real quick. Let me back up and try to fill the truck up. Let's see if it'll pop up a, a, a sign or something. Okay. Good. It tells us how much that is. That's exactly what we paid for. Oh, uh, we're at home. 2,642 gallons? That's a weird number, but okay. Okay, good. Um, move this thing out of the way. Uh, as you can see, they done got started working on field 12 before we even got uh, the sugar beets off of it. And yes, I have that machine set, not making no money. So let's run over and get that done real quick and then uh, we'll take our new case which should be in this door right here. We'll go ahead and get it open. Actually, you know what? We'll go ahead and have some... Who are we going to get take that up there? Uh, how about Anna? We'll get her to take it up there. Oh, it starts up so good. Uh, we just want... We want farm to market. Not farm to market. And we're not going to drive a horse right yet because it probably clipped side of the building on me. Uh, I love I love this tractor. We ain't used it very much, but it's going to be our, what we use to plant with. Um, I would go with this the meadow cedar but I prefer actually putting the seeds in the ground instead of taking a chance to throw them out there you know okay here we go we'll drive course stop at the last and it says sir but it's going to be Anna looks no I don't look like Anna yeah, maybe it's Sarah oh well I'll let them fight over it. Uh, we're getting low on fertilizer too. We're down to three uh, cases. The old thing is over there. But anyway, there's our sugar beet machine. Get up over here in the truck. Whoa, well, that was a lag. Yeah, they just uh, went all the way down to the end, leveling it out and stuff. And Hey, better, you know, our, our money did drop some because of that, but, um, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do about these hills right here. They're going to have to pick some way, because they almost blocked me in. And while this is dumping, I'm going to have to check on that cotton price. Probably wouldn't hurt to go ahead and lease a module truck and get it going. Uh, or get it here, you know, request for it. Oh, I don't know where the road's going to be. Oh, it's kind of steep. Alright, guys, I've got to put a road in or something there. Or let me know which way to go. They should be back from lunch pretty soon. But yeah, we this is our first full load off of field 12, so we're going to be rolling in sugar beets, folks. All right. Uh-oh. No more capacity for sugar beets. Wait, I, I know a place. I know a place. Ah, the tarp is out. It's a little bit further, but yeah. Hang on, folks. All right. I, I missed my turn. We're going to go in this way, but I'm glad I kind of missed it because I just saw a train go by. So, therefore, I know we should be clear. 
All right, our tractor just made it to the store. Uh, oh Lord, I gotta go on their desk, go through. Oops, there's a pole there. I'm hoping I can store it here. We'll soon find out. Unload. While wow, that's unloading, 49.37 folks and climbing. All right. Now this is uh, where we're going to work at. All right, I'll meet you back at the sugar beet field, field 12. All right. Might not. No, I ain't close enough. Go ahead and shut that off and we'll move it to our needs again. So let's jump up in here and Ooh, we're using quite a bit of diesel too. Okay, so. There's one full truck load and a full hopper load this far, so we probably got at least two more truck loads here, folks. Oh, got a lot of field work to do, got a lot of planting to do. And just show you that while we're, uh, our chickens are up to 62, and they're doing good on wheat. Um, this is what it looks like Sunday. We got rain. Probably about, I don't know, about around six maybe in the evening. But I got today and two more days, so basically three days, two and a half days, to plant wheat, barley, oats, or canola. Of course, we could do poplars and oil seed radish, but eh, eh, don't need all that. Fold my pipe in. Lower that down. We're gonna get a worker back on this. So I'm gonna line up. That should work. Oh, they gonna put the pipe out anyway. All right. I uh, don't know who's doing that, but that's uh. Let's jump on over to our tractor. Because he's wasting fuel. He or she. But this is our planter. It's going to match the tractor. Okay. Okay. No, I didn't plan that, folks. I just trying to, you know, mix match things. A little bit of Katie's, a little bit of John Deere. So. This is actually a Great Plains. It's just a, a case international, you know, whatever it is, uh, reskin. But we're gonna unfold this. We're gonna have to buy some seeds fertilized for it because uh, we're getting low. So I will go ahead and do it. Okay, lower it down. To lower it down, there we go. All that just lowers those down. Oh, well, we can raise those up then. And let's open our boxes. With, uh, do we, uh, oh, open cover. There we go. All right. Uh, me, oh, my. I don't have a front loader, but I got a hard thing up here I forgot. Oops. i might bring a tractor up here to load this thing. Maybe John's got something to load it. Let me go talk to John, and uh, we'll be right back, folks. All right, folks. Uh, probably not going to get to plant in this episode. I had a little bit of trouble with the planter. Uh, or what, a seed drill. And... Plus, John at the market don't have, he 
I had 8,000 liters of seeds and fertilizer, and that was it. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, maybe that, maybe that will be all we need. I don't know. But I need to concentrate getting this right here done. We don't like it very much, and just get it done and get it back to the market. That way we don't pay leasing costs on it. <sighs> yeah. Ow, ow, my kitchen up to I'm going to crawl them to the end, try to get what I can out of them. We're going to go take this over to, uh, yeah, by the town, the mill, or the, whatever that silo is way over there. Um, did I set? Okay, maybe that worked. Let's jump in there and probably going to auto save. Now, of course, it did. But our cotton is still going up as 4963. I wanted to sell that when it hits 5,000. But I'm going to let it go up. So, next episode, folks, we'll probably. Well, I'm going to finish this episode. Uh, bring y'all back here in a second I'm gonna I'm just about full but when uh, I get to the end here I'm gonna take off to the uh, silo go empty come back finish this field up hopefully he'll be done by the time I get back and uh, but I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you then what we're gonna do in the next episode which you already know it's gonna be planned oh he hit me back in you see that Anyway, folks, I'll be back in a second. All right, I see the train right up there, so I'm gonna take a take a wild guess. It's safe to cross. I'll go to a second crossing here. I'm hammering down, hammering down. All right, this is kind of rough on the trailer here. That crosses curb there. Did I leave a, I left a log out there. Oh my goodness. That's not good. Took it a little too wide too. Alright, pull up a little bit more. Not quite on the gate. Ah! Not that far. Okay. All my trailers gonna slide. Oh, oh, it's pushing me backwards. All right, made it back to the field, and looks like oh, just a few that ran out through. Oh, he'll like a round when he gets done. Let's see, thirty-eight percent. Just gonna park here. Go ahead and shut this off. We're gonna go in here and we are gonna look at the the uh, cedar that I bought. Yeah. Go in the cedars. We're gonna go all the way over. Oh, right there it is. Uh, fifty thousand liters. It holds quite a bit, folks. Uh, only 125 horsepower to pull it, 9.1 meters, and uh, 10 miles per hour. And that's what I paid for it. So, yeah, and that's what we got left up there. Um, yeah, I'd like to have some of these big boys up here. And some of these big John Deere's, too. Oof. Um, I got the money, I think, for the cow pasture I've been wanting to put over there, but. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna be stuck with with the uh, sawmill. Uh, as you can see up here, I brought the forder or skitter, I should say, over here, and I got to sell the other grinder 
uh, I don't even know where I took it to. I think I took it to Market Shop. I just ain't sold it yet. And uh, we got to finish leveling out this. So if I do this, I won't get the cow pasture. But if I get the cow pasture, and then I won't be able to get level this out to farm it. So yeah. So I'll probably be leveling this out, I guess, folks. <sighs> Maybe we'll sell enough sugar beets and cotton to pay for the thing for the cow pasture. Now he's got what? One, two, three, four, five. Maybe six rows left. Yeah, I'm gonna do a jump cut, and I'm be back in a second when he gets done, folks. All right, folks, we are unloading the last bit of the chicken feet. Been a pretty good, pretty good harvest. So I, I can't remember how much we got all together. Uh, let's go in here and see if we can figure this out. Let's see, sugar beets is here. Other silos that don't, it's not going to tell us. That would figure. Uh, cotton, you still going up? Folks, next episode we're going to be selling the two modules, the cotton bales. Um, yeah, because that price is going to be perfect by then. And uh, we'll also be doing some planting. Uh, got, uh, well, it says Betty, but we got Boo down there in 22 and 23 and 24 uh, fertilizing in front of the planter. So next episode, we'll be planting, selling cotton and all that good stuff. But first, uh, yeah, this thing is going back to John. Actually, John's going to come get it. He's going to uh, say, just give him a call. I'm going to tell him I'll park it down here by the edge of the by the farm shop by the edge of the field 12 there you don't know what I'm talking about so uh let me go well I ain't got no way to tell them I have to go to both ones so anyway folks uh we'll get a total next episode of how many sugar beets we got um quite a bit so yeah I, I just want to say I thank each and every one of y'all folks for all the awesome comments, the, the love, the support. Y'all are just amazing. And also, yeah, y'all had it. Don't forget to go down below in the description and check out the other YouTubers. And uh, I also have some links down there to my my webpage. Uh, it's from Wix, W-I-X, I think. I ain't been on there in a while, but you can, you can go in there and still look at it and uh, give me some ideas what I need to put in there. Uh, also, I have a PayPal account just in case y'all are feeling generous. Uh, also, a Amazon link to like a wish list. Uh, but folks, you don't have to do all that unless you just, you know, if you got it, you got it, do it. If you don't, don't worry about it. Go uh, just watch my videos and hitting that like button and that red button. It's all the love I need from y'all. They are awesome. But anyway, I gotta go. I gotta go. So uh, I'll see y'all next video, okay? Y'all have a great day. Blessed day. I'll see you later.